show is very late, we are all tired, some of us have to go to work. Is something wrong? No, I was going to take the stand away, but... Yeah. I can stand here. <laughs> okay! I know. And also, I'm very modest. <laughs> and uh, okay, so I really don't want to take your time. I will. I if you really want to know, I do stand up comedy because I'm not really a comedian. I'm just a very frustrated person, and I really like to tell all the shit happened, I don't know, last week for me. And for me, it's a little bit like going to shrink, but you will laugh. I really hope so. And in. So, you know what? I will just start. So. Last week or two weeks ago, I was feeling very bad. You know, you have those days when you feel shitty, you know? Everything will be bad. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, thank you, you are not sleeping. Great. <laughs> nice. And I also had this day, uh, it was more of a week. <laughs> so, you know, I, I really thought, I really, I'm not the person that goes to family or friends and goes, oh my god, I feel so bad. Do something with it. No, I'm a person that tries to cheer myself up. So, you know, I did the big three. I do some shopping, many petty, tried to move furniture around my apartment, but nothing worked. So I thought, hmm, maybe this is because I am a very single person. And maybe this is because I'm very lonely. <laughs> Nice! Yeah, laugh at me, laugh at the loneliness. And I thought, hmm, I think it's because I really don't know how to flirt with guys, uh, because I really treat everything as a joke. And, you know, I'm too... Sorry, can I put this here? Yay! You know, I'm today a butterfly, yeah, so... Whenever I heard today at work that, oh my god, you're so pretty butterfly, I was like, yeah, because I was a mega to that uh, this morning. <laughs> you know, and I, I don't know why I do this goofy laugh. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because I'm nervous and there is something like sense of humor and something about jokes and stress. And I'm not really listening to my shriek. <laughs> and, um, and I thought, what is the way the kids these days are meeting other people. And yes, Ravi, I will be doing the Tinder beat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so of course I got Tinder. Why the hell not? I'm not living with my mom, she won't tell anything about it because she won't be even knowing about it. So great. So of course the first thing, when you download your Tinder and you install it, you have to pick a picture. Yeah? So of course I, I didn't want to know anyone from my friends that I'm on Tinder so, and you, I also wanted to lure the guys in. So you know, I had to take a picture from here to here. <laughs> and, and after that you have to write something about yourself, which is really horrible, but I thought, hmm, I can be very honest, but I can't be too honest. So of course I wrote great sense of humor, lovely character, big bust. Big ass. And I was okay. One honest thing. And I was very picky with my swipes. I think I swiped, I really, right now I don't remember which is which. The right kind, I swiped something about 10 times. I got 8 matches. Like, oh my god, it's, it's such a great ego boost. And of course, after that, the messages are coming. And the first guy, I, I can say there, there, was a, there was a few types of the guys. And the first one was a buddy. I mean, seriously, the same job as me, very similar project as me. I mean, oh my god, we can grab a beer and talk about it, how our job sucks. <coughs> Sorry. Water. Yay, water. Yay, for water! <laughs> okay. And the second guy was a preacher which is, I think, the most annoying, and he was like, oh my god, girl, with this picture you will never find a husband on a Tinder. And I was like, no shit, Sherlock, seriously? <laughs> and the third guy, uh, I think the most pathetic guy, 
was, why aren't you answering my messages? After five minutes, after seriously five minutes, I was at my job. I can't sit on the Tinder at my job. And the fourth guy, which totally freaked me out, was, oh my god, you're one kilometer away? I'm coming over. And I was, no, 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 I'm not that lonely. No, 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 no. Uninstall. Uh -uh. And I said, and I was thinking, hmm, I'm not that lonely. And I think I already met my soulmate. And I think I'm already living with my soulmate. It's my dog. He's a little winner dog. He has only one eye. He's very old. Oh my god, he's so cute. Everybody loves him. I can take him even to my work at Fridays. So tomorrow he will have the best day. And I was thinking, why do I think this is my soulmate? And I was, oh my god, he's very similar to me. He loves to sleep, yeah, me too. He loves to eat, yeah, me too. And I secretly think he loves to smoke weed with me. <laughs> yes, because whenever I smoke it, he comes to the room, he sits next to me, he cuddles and he watches Futurama with me. <laughs> oh my god, isn't this a really a soulmate? <laughs> Sorry. how much sweating I am, but can you see how shiny my necklace is? Yeah? yeah. Have you seen my shoes? Yeah, yeah, look. Yeah. I love shiny things. It's because I really don't want you to see how shiny my face is. And, um, and I was really thinking how, how much I really love dogs and what is the best thing about dogs? And they are very similar to us people. Because sometimes when my dog is getting up and he's waking me up, he's saying, I have to take a dog. And of course, in his dog voice. Uh, I love it that Ravi always laughs at my dogs. Oh my god! I love you. We talk later. <laughs> And uh, whenever we are going for a, you know, morning walk and taking the dog, uh, he sometimes has this very bad day, like he even, okay, he can see because he has one eye and he's already, already blind in it. I don't know, he, it's, I think it's a full location, like a bath, that he can sense the other dog somewhere around, and whenever he senses. Sometimes he has a day. Oh my god, I will fucking kill you! <laughs> oh my god, mom! Did you see him? <laughs> he whacked a tail on my turf. <laughs> oh no, bitch, you didn't beat on my bush! Yeah, and I love it. And the other day, uh, whenever he sees any other dog, he's like, Oh my god, hello! Why do I smell your buttocks? Yes, please, you can smell mine! Thank you very much, bye bye! So, if you really want to know, I just want you to live with this Two messages from me. First of all, never set up a Tinder profile when you are stoned. And the second thing, oh, oh shit, I forgot about what, this one thing about my dog. Okay, 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 I didn't burn it yet. Nice. Hey, it's late. I'm also tired. And sweaty. <laughs> that you are clapping because I'm drinking water. So. Yeah, nice. Stay hydrated! Yay! Okay, I really love this one thing about my dog because when we are taking a morning walk, sometimes I have to walk with him extra 15 or 20 minutes because he has to pick a perfect spoon to take a dog. I mean, seriously. Like, I, I don't know, what is it? Is it something about tall grass and some flowers around and some, <laughs> some sand and every day it's a different spot? I really don't, don't know why. But I really think, of course, uh, the first thing I told you, never set up a Tinder profile when you are stoned. And the second thing, maybe if we would all sometimes look for a perfect spot to take a dump, we would be all better in better mood. So, <laughs> thank you very much, you're great!